Hi everyone, welcome back to a Creatively Crafted Life and another Smash Our Stash video, which is a collaboration hosted by Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts and Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. So there's a big group of us that are picking specific items in our craft room to work through on a given month. And this month what happens to be 3D embellishments. So I have a couple empty packs, yay me. A couple not quite so empty, but that's okay. We made a good dent in them. As you can see, I made a lot of cards. So without further ado, let me show you what I made this month. So as I mentioned, I made a lot of cards and I'm just gonna flip through these pretty quickly. So what I did this month is I went to my card base bin and I pulled out all of those. And then I also went and looked for any 3D embellishments. And the embellishments I came up were these chipboard butterflies from Can Company, as well as these floral stickers also from Can Company. And we'll get to them at some point, but I also used these little birdie uh, flower embellishments and these butterflies. These are the three chipboard butterflies that I'm left over with. And as you can see, I made a pretty good dent in these ones. And the flower stickers were all used up. For this one, the floral piece is actually cut out of some cardstock. And then I just added the little chipboard butterfly to finish that off. I include the envelopes inside my cards when I store them so that when I go to pull them I have no excuses. <laughs> this is a really basic card, just the butterfly embellishment and the sentiment best wishes. If I wanted to I could go back in and add some enamel dots. Sometimes I do that if I feel I need it when I'm writing the card out. This is some pink fresh paper. I think it was let your heart decide. All of these were put together really quickly using base cards. So what I mean by a base card is all these layers of paper were already pre-positioned on the card base and all I did literally was come in and add, in this case, the flower and the sentiment. This is some old K and Company floral embellishments. I really like that one. It's amazing how I had no idea when I laid these uh, card stocks together that I would find a flower that would look, that would work perfectly with it. On a craft card base, switching it up a little bit. You'll notice that I use um, quite often a very linear design where I just have bands of cardstock across and it just seems to be an easy way to use up scraps. You'll also notice that I didn't stamp on any of these. I'm finding that I don't like to stamp sentiments when I'm in like mass production mode. And so I have an idea on how to fix that and that should be coming hopefully soon. We'll see. Some Felicity Jane. Sometimes it just worked out perfectly to add the embellishment on top of an existing flower. Like the colors just matched so well. This is actually a persnickety print card that you get with your order, um, which is a thank you card, and I just repurposed it. Some more of that Amy Tan paper with the yellow butterfly. These scraps are from a mini album I made like years ago that I must have hung on to these for some reason. And I just added that yellow rose on there. Oh, and the little butterfly. Another Felicity Jane card base. Just added some of those dimensional floral stickers. I actually made a wedding card. Not that I have any weddings upcoming, but you never know. I always like to have a few wedding and a few sympathy, um, a few get well cards on hand. The majority of the cards though that I do make are generic like hello <laughs> or birthday cards and of course Christmas cards. 
I really like how this one turned out with the butterfly on top of the butterfly paper. And then I just used some Tim Holtz little tile stickers to spell the word hi. I really like this card too. Again, it's more of those Can Company uh, 3D dimensional stickers. And this is from a sticker book from Jen Hadfield. And then just this honeycomb hexagon paper. And the last card that I'm going to share with you is a large square card. I had this acetate wreath from. I can't remember. I think it came in a, in a scrapbook kit or something like that and it was left over. And so I thought I'd just make it into a card. And then these are wood veneer leaves that already came pre-glittered. And so I just layered those on and then die cut out the word hello from some gold paper and then added some sequins to finish this off. That was a lot of cards. I'm not even sure how many there are. So I had to count them all. There's 32 cards in total. I'm just thrilled with that. I'm stocked up for a little while now, I think. Please be sure to check out the description below for all the other participants in this collaboration. I'm sure they have some different 3D embellishment items that they used from their stash that might give you some great ideas. And until next time, happy crafting.